we're asked to simplify m to the third and then that squared all over mx to the third, all of that to the fourth power. And they want us to express our answer in exponential form, and then they tell us that m does not equal 0 and x does not equal 0. Because if they did, then this denominator would be equal to 0, if either of them did, and then it would just be undefined. So that's why they had to put that little, uh, that little uh, uh, caveat there, that neither of them are going to be equal to 0. So let's try to simplify this. Let me rewrite it. So the numerator is m to the third squared, and our denominator our denominator is is let me do it in a different color is m x to the third to the fourth power now let's just work on each of these independently what is m to the third and then that to the to the second power well if you raise something to an exponent and then raise that whole thing to another exponent this is going to be the same thing so this numerator up here is going to be m to the 3 times 2 power, or m to the 6th power. We're raising it to the third and then squaring it. And if you think about it, this expression right here, let me just do a little aside here, m to the third squared. There's no magic behind why we're multiplying that. If you think about m to the third squared, this is the same thing as m to the third times m to the third. And if you saw something like this, you would add these two exponents. 3 plus 3, you have exactly two 3's here. If you, this was 4, you would be multiplying it 4 times. So you'd have four threes. So that's why we're multiplying these two numbers, 3 times 2. So that gives us m to the sixth. And then the denominator here, we have mx to the third to the fourth power. Now, in general, when you have uh, the product of some numbers and you're raising both, you're raising the, the entire product to some exponent, you can raise each of the terms to that exponent. So this denominator right here, this is going to be m to the fourth times x to the third to the fourth. I'm just raising both of these terms, m to the fourth, x to the third to the fourth power. Now, what does this simplify to? Well, our numerator is still m to the sixth. I'll do one step at a time. Our numerator is still m to the sixth. Our denominator is m to the fourth. But we have this x to the third, and then that to the fourth power. So we can multiply these. 3 times 4. So this is x to the twelfth power. So times x to the twelfth. Now, we have an m to the sixth and an in the numerator, an m to the fourth and the denominator. You could view this as the same thing as m to the sixth times m to the negative 4, either way. But we know, or hopefully we know, that this right here, this right here, that piece right there, can be simplified as m to the 6 minus 4 power. So this is going to be equal to, so in the numerator, we could have m to the 6 minus 4, which is m squared. That's the 6 minus 4 right there. That's what this simplifies to. And the denominator, we still have an x to the 12th. We still have our x to the 12th in the denominator. And we're done. If we don't want something in the denominator, we could rewrite this x to the 12th in the denominator as x to the negative 12th in the numerator. So we could rewrite this whole expression as being equal to m squared times x, x to the negative 12. Either of these would be an acceptable answer.